hey guys, you're about to come with me inside this D-style boiler and check it out. So this is the rear entry to the furnace. All right, it's safe to enter. And we're about to slide in. All right, make sure when you go into the boiler, you exit the same way. In this case, I'm coming in head and hands first. Now off to the right, you can see the drum refractory. All right, getting up here. There's the burner directly ahead of me, standing in the radiant section. All right, back here, you can see this is uh, the back of the boiler where the flue gases are uh, passing the division wall and headed over to the convecting section. All right, this is just a quick shot of uh, some of the furnace tubes. Now this is a membrane wall style. There's the burner, and here's those tubes. You'll see right here, there's a seal welded membrane in between the tubes. Okay, so tangential tubes, the tubes are rolled next to each other, but the membrane style, uh, the center between the tubes is actually seal welded. So it's good to check those, make sure there's no possibility of CO short circuiting. All right now, the I just went right beyond the division wall there and so the furnace gases are come back, wrap around, and head through this convective section here. All right. Now I'm going to head back up to the burner momentarily. So like I said, that's where the flue gases are wrapping around. So that was the back of the furnace. All right. So check out the burner. Now you see this gap here? This will get stuffed with K-wool, so it needs to be insulated. So there's just a little gap here between the ring header and the burner refractory coil. All right, this is the tube ring header. So all those front wall tubes are coming to that ring header and that's so we can put a burner through there, right? Pretty cool. All right, this is the refractory face. So you'll notice it's relatively smooth, but it has a sharp trailing edge. So you wanna make sure that you have those sharp trailing edges on your refractory face. All right, back here we have the gas pokers. So this is a four, four gas poker style. And then back there is actually the center gas that's being injected behind the swirler, getting a little premix with the air. And then there is a number two oil fuel gun right in the center. Pretty cool. So yes, this is a gas and oil burner. Now over here, you see we have the pilot assembly. All right, it's just a high energy ignition gas pilot. All right, it's right behind the swirler, so it's not gonna be on all the time. Uh, some of that combustion air is coming from behind the pilot and getting scooped in the back of the hood there. So the combustion air actually provides uh, the combustion air for this pilot assembly. All right. So there is the steam drum refractory and that's insulating the exposed parts of the steam drum. Get down this ladder real quick. All right, and there's the mud drum refractory. So that's lining the exposed part of the mud drum. And we have some refractory on the back glasses here. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this quick little rundown of going through the furnace. Hope you learned something and uh, see you on the next one, Carbon Kingers.